what is up my guys um back at it again with another vlog um i just got done working with uh one of my homies cars he wanted me to do a planet spacer did it really quick took like 30 40 minutes i should have recorded it you know it would have been some content but anyways we're back here i hope all you had a great thanksgiving i know it was kind of a weird year because like I honestly didn't go with my family for COVID reasons, obviously. We're trying to protect ourselves and protect our family. So yeah, but I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I got my doggo over here, my boy Koda. I need a groom him. I really need a groom him. Bad. But hey, Koda. 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 He does some a few tricks. Koda. Sit, hey, over here. And it does not have an exhaust right now. So I don't want to turn it on because I'm gonna annoy all the neighbors. And I'll show you guys my old exhaust. So the new exhaust that I got is the same ISR exhaust, um, but I'm gonna just leave the resonator in. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna just leave it alone. Because these I, these actually sound good with uh, some regular test pipes or resonated test pipes, which I'm gonna get resonated test pipes. And I don't like my car too loud. Like I just want it to sound these like I don't know when I, I want it to sound noticeable. That's the word. Um, I don't want to be obnoxiously loud and on, on all that. So. Um, let's get to this unboxing real quick. Um, I already opened it a bit just to make sure that everything was here because it did get here like two days ago. So I just wanted to make sure there was no dents or anything, but I didn't fully open it. So, Doggo wants to see it. what's all this about. So, this is the ISR single exit. For the for the 350Z, whoa, 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 buddy. So I'm gonna put it side by side the other one, and I'll put it right. So here they are side by side. As you can tell, it, it needs that eight-inch extension because this one's this one uh, is meant to fit for the G35 because I custom welded it like that and yeah this is it I know it's going to be super quiet so should be a pretty easy install sit sit paw other paw I didn't say down sit paw other paw other paw down good boy good boy now my car is has just the the stock y pipe and cats so i mean it's not too loud but it is loud but i'm gonna need to move it more in the center so i can start working on it i'm gonna lift it up and i don't think this is gonna be like really an install video it's just gonna be just like you know a little a little vlog um but yeah let me know if you guys want to see more install videos or just like little vlogs like i usually do nothing too nothing too big just let me know in the comments the baller just arrived what's up baller yeah. how's the drive long long yes sir keep the shirt Sponsored by them or what? Yes, sir. <laughs> so the homie Ramon just dropped off the part and he picked up the exhaust. Um, he's gonna put it on his other Q40. So yeah. Got the gap cam? Yes sir. Fast guy. Alright man. TVK for the win, huh? Later. Sheesh. Extension P40. 
piece I needed. It's an eight inch extension. So I'm gonna jack up the car and you know, put this on. I got the car all jacked up. It's already off. I still have the stock white pipe and stock cats over there. So I'm, this is not gonna be really an install video. I'm just gonna kind of do it just to get out of the way, just to make it quicker. And I'll show you guys, I'll be driving around, probably cruising with some homies later. So I'll show you some videos of that instead. So yeah. So the exhaust is finally on. Um, it is hitting the drive shaft. So I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to lift it up again, see if I could loosen the bolts and uh, see if I could hang it down a little lower. And for, for this, the hanger, I loosened, the, I unbolt those two bolts and I uh, bent the hanger, that hanger over there because it was hitting the bumper, but now now I have that gap, which is fine, but it is hitting the side and I think I have plastic melted on my exhaust now. But, um, about removing this part the little diffuser that it has um let me know if you guys think uh i should do that i was thinking about removing this part and a little bit of the the crash bar shows so i was thinking about you know buying a bash bar with a jack point and i'll just have like a little jack point pointing out I don't know if that's a would be a good idea or not but let me know in the comments down below so yeah this is this is it i mean it's very 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 quiet compared to the exhaust that i used to have but i like it i mean i drove it around i mean it was fun I mean, it's a little bit more responsive and later tonight i'll show you guys some uh some clips for me driving around probably beat on it in a bit so so the issue was that the exhaust the resonator over there was hitting the dry it was hitting the dry shaft over there so i like i put washers on the hangers so i could drop it down more and then it was sitting way too low i mean that still didn't help it was still hitting the drive shaft so what i did was i took off i took off the resonator and um I just hammered it with a mallet and just made a dent where the the what's it called the drive shaft would be and it cleared it and it didn't mess up the exhaust or anything and uh, this part was hanging way too low like it's still a little low but it's not as low as it was and I got it to fit perfectly on the this I don't know the exit and yeah so that's all for this video I know this video was like all over the place and probably didn't even make sense but um i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh more content coming soon and more often as well too as i am getting more income for this car and also for school and other things but um yeah hopefully uh you guys enjoyed it hit that like and subscribe button and please share this video